Now we're going to install Fedora on a virtual machine that I've already created in VirtualBox. And I did give this one more than 8 gigs to start because it's a larger installation. So now we're going to click Start. Note it's asking to verify this is where the installed files are located. So now we click Start. Since we don't want to do a test on the media, we're going to go ahead and click uh, skip. So you notice you have no mouse control here. We have to use the right arrow to move over to skip and hit the enter key. Now we get to start the actual installation. Click next. We pick English for our language, and again, U.S. English for the keyboard. And we're going to pick basic storage devices. Notice that if you pick specialized, you use things like a RAID or a SAN, RAID being a redundant array of independent disks, and a storage area network or a SAN being a large grouping of drives. Let's click Next. From here, we need to reinitialize. Remember now, not your host drive where all your data is, but it's just the virtual drive. And it's empty at this point anyway. So let's pick Reinitialize All. Now let's give the new virtual machine a name. So we'll just select New York as the default on this one. Now we enter the root user's password. We'll pick replace existing systems. Again, this is going to erase anything that was on this virtual hard drive to begin with and this one's blank so it's not erasing anything here especially on your host machine double check if this is what you really want to do so we'll click right changes to disk and get started now we will install the packages that are in the installation repo or repository If you're wondering if your installation is actually proceeding, you can always look down in the bottom down here, see where the hard drive is. Every once in a while you'll see a little uh, red dot show up on it and you know that the activity is still going on. Plus it will count the packages up. We're nearing the end of this phase in the installation. We've now reached the end of the installation. We have to reboot to restart everything. Now that the system has rebooted, we'll give it a little bit more information. So click forward, make sure that we've read the license agreement, and click forward. Now we're going to create a normal user.
Notice you can use network login if you're set up for that. And we click forward, pick the time. Everything looks good there. So we'll click forward. You could synchronize the time with a, an online service if you wanted to. And I don't want to send the profile. No, I really don't want to send the profile. And it continues with its reboot. Now we're at the login script. So that's the installation of Fedora.